What's up, to YouTube? It's Dakota here, Dini Gecko, and today I'm just gonna be talking about um, herpetology, how I become a herpetologist, stuff like that, because that's what I want to do whenever I get out of college and all that. So I'm gonna be school to school to be. Um, but as you can tell, I'm outside. There's my dog and stuff. It's a nice day. Make a video and just get out of the house. I know I haven't ever showed my face, so I guess I'll show my face. That's me. I don't like showing my face. It's hard to record your face. Yeah, the old stuff down. I'm gonna be reading it to you guys. Um, they get they're estimated rounded. They rounded it off. They get paid rounded off. They get about sixty thousand dollars a year. And thirty dollars an hour, at the minimum. That's just less small. They get. Um, if you go to college longer and you get a higher position, and you've been doing it longer, you'll get more. Like forty-five is probably the highest you're gonna get. That's just the minimum. But it's not about the money. It's just about what you love to do and like your interests, like and stuff like that. Like, I'm. Be good at this. You got to be good at science and math. Okay, at math. I'm okay at math, and I have an A in science. I love science. It's okay. Um, education. This is the most important. The small, the minimum rank of education you can have is a bachelor's degree. That's where the money comes in. They won't get paid very much because I have a small position and can't do as much. But that's what you need to start off. And then keep going to college and get a doctorate's degree. Get to school for like eight years. This is four years, eight years. Um, and you can get a higher position. That's when you know that money is coming in. But as again, it's not about the money, but you can do a lot more with a doctorate's degree. Training, you don't need no hands-on training, like on-the-job training, you don't need to watch it. That doesn't require any of that. What you what you will be doing whenever you're a herpetologist, you will c develop and conduct experimental studies with reptiles and amphibians. They study reptiles and amphibians such as snakes and frogs and toads and stuff like that. You will collect data from reptiles and amphibians, study their characteristics such as their interactions with other species, rep uh, reproduction, um, diseases, and movement patterns. Like, do they interact with other species? You're going to study that. Um, mm, reproduction, how much do they reproduct? Reproduct or mate in a year. How much eggs does um, this species or type of snake? How many eggs is it laying, and how many are hatching out of the egg? Where do they lay their eggs? Stuff like that. Diseases. Which diseases are killing and discovering new diseases and ones that are deadliest, and how to cure them. And migrating pattern, patterns where do they go in the winter where are they most populated at woods in like south america africa where in south america where in south africa stuff like that um it will also analyze the influence that human activity has on their natural habitats like the stuff we do like cutting down the trees and stuff what does that affect how does that affect them on their natural habitats um, the stuff we cut down trees is that killing more and as a herpetologist you can help protect them and the the mill. Um estimate wildlife populations, write reports, essays and give presentations on reptiles and amphibians. Like write reports on what you find or research. Um present that stuff to like colleges and stuff. You need to just all the stuff that you research, just present it and write reports and essays and stuff. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Herpetologist to become one as a young age like me. It's good to start with those just like y'all do or snakes or an amphibian or something. Just to get a good hint and get involved with these animals. So whenever you get older, you have an experience with keeping them and sometimes breeding them. So you know what? The species already won't be um, new to when you come to college. So you'll have been raising them for a little bit when you go to college. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's um, what I want to be. Some other things that are close to it. Um, like marine biologists, mammal mammalologist I think is how you say it, study mammals and stuff like that. There's some of those study fish, but herpetologists study reptiles and amphibians. Hope this helps. If you like this video, like it. If you like my videos, all my videos, subscribe. Just when I get 30 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a something fresh.